Hello and welcome to the Inns of Court Armoured Car Regiment channel. Today we'll be covering the squadron organisation from July the 12th, 1944 till February 1945. So quite a lengthy chunk of their operations in Northwest Europe. Now this is probably going to be the most intriguing one, I guess you could say, for a lot of people who do tabletop wargaming or are interested in the regiment's formation. The reason being is the information within this presentation is difficult to get hold of. Um, and so when I've seen a lot of tabletop wargamers try and represent the squadron during this period, they don't normally use this kind of squadron organization. They usually use the squadron organization, which was shown in the June the 20th till July the 4th video. A lot of people know that the Inns Court Regiment did use the Sawn Off Daimler, seen front and centre here, but not a lot of people have been able to really work out how they actually used it. How did it incorporate into the Sabre organisation? So that'll be one of the elements that is covered today. And for tabletop wargamers, it, I definitely I think this is going to be the, the main one to watch, really, because it covers the regiment's organisation through Operations Goodwood, all the way up and through Operations Market Garden and through the very quiet period of the winter of 1945, well, 44 to 45, I should say. So, without much further ado, let's crack on. So, the Inza Court Regiment, the regiment organisation, still got the regiment headquarters, still have the headquarters squadron consisting of the headquarters troop, intercom troop, admin troop, AA troop. There is a caveat on the AA troop and that will be covered later on. We still have four Sabre squadrons, A squadron, B squadron, C squadron and D squadron. And lastly, but not least, we still have the Mastor squadron, although again, there is a caveat on this one as well. The Sabre Squadron uh, organization has the Squadron Headquarters, the Admin Troop, the Support Blitz Troop, but I think the main changes is in regards to the Light Troops and the Heavy Troops. So we've gone from four Light Troops to six Light Troops, and from four Heavy Troops to three Heavy Troops. So the reason for the increase in number in Light Troops is these lighter troops were found to be more effective during Operation Charmwood. Uh, therefore, they decided to increase the number of them in order to, I guess, feel out the enemy a bit more and find those chinks in the armour. The heavy troops were found to be less effective, so they were reduced in number, but potentially were also reduced in number due to vehicle allotments, and we'll cover that as we go through. So the light troop remains the same, two Daimler Dingo scout cars. Uh, nothing really changing here, apart from obviously the number of them going from four light troops to six light troops. The heavy troops, this is probably where we see the most exciting change, I guess you could say. So we still have two Daimler armoured cars, but now we have one sawn off Daimler armoured car acting as the scout car for the heavy troop unit. This also potentially explains why we see a reduction from four to three heavy troops because if you can think about three heavy troops with a sawn off uh, we've got nine daimlers uh, there so uh, potentially they were forced to reduce down to three because of the limited allocation um, or due to their lack of effectiveness i think it could be a combination of both the support troop uh, remains the same as the previous presentation. One Daimler armoured car, three half tracks and 18 dismounts as far as I'm aware. Admin troop still retains the one water cart, seven three ton lorries and one motorcycle. However, there's always the possibility that the admin troop may be divided up or um, split off or bolstered or even reduced. Um, there's not a lot of information on the admin troop, unfortunately. So. All we have to go on is the standard organisation charts for armoured car regiments uh, from June 1944. Squadron headquarters is assumed it still retains the four Staghound armoured cars, the one Jeep, the one staff car represented here using a Tilly, one white scout car acting as an ambulance and five motorcycles. Um, now... I have been able to find some recent footage of the Intercourt Regiment showing that they didn't always use white scout cars as ambulances. Um, potentially footage that I'll, uh, I'll cover uh, in another video in the future. Lots of videos to, to make on this, uh, even on just this regiment. 
Um, what you'll notice is I've taken the assumed Daimler armoured car that um, was left spare under the previous regiment or squadron reorganisation um, and I've filed it back into the heavy troops. The reason being is obviously the heavy troops have lost their scout cars in order to make scout car numbers up for the light troops and therefore um, the Sornoffs uh, need reallocation of the Daimler armoured car that was located here. So the Sabre Squadron, we still have 10 Daimler armoured cars, but now only seven of, them, seven of them are retained as armoured cars, whereas three of them are now sawn off Daimler armoured cars, acting as scout cars. We have 12 Daimler Dingo scout cars, four stack hounds, three half tracks, seven three ton lorries, one white scout car, one jeep, one staff car, and six motorcycles. And that's in the Sabre Squadron. And of course, remember, there will be four of these squadrons in total. Total number of vehicles, this is what it would look like, I guess you could say. Um, so you can see that all the car, all the armoured cars have been reorganised a little bit, especially on the left hand side where I'm representing the Sabres. Um, but yeah, it's it's still a lot of vehicles, but obviously it's a lot less than what they probably originally had, because obviously the Matadors are now reallocated into their own squadron. Caveats, well, first caveat is regarding the AA troop. The AA troop was removed from the regiment by December 44. It's possible that this uh, troop would have still been present in October 44. However, based on the tables of the Inside the National Archive, they're not listed under the armoured car tables. It's possible they might be listed under the AA tables in October 44, but they were most definitely removed by December 44. The Matador troop was removed from the regiment by December 44, however it was still present in October 44. Again, this is based off of the National Archive armoured car tables showing the allocation of armoured cars and it shows that the Matadors were totally gone uh, by December. And also there is a passing comment in the Devil's Own, the, uh, the regiment's history, and it basically says uh, when it talks about the reorganisation in February, it says that there was no reallocation of the Matador troop as the Matadors had long since gone, uh, therefore referring to possibly them leaving sometime in probably let's say a late October till early December. So. For me, I'd, I'd say, let's assume the Mastodon Troop goes in November. And of course, all the previous caveats from the previous presentations regarding the squadron organisation from June the 28th to July the 4th and July the 4th to July the 12th are still applicable where applicable. Going on to the references, obviously there are two books down at the bottom there. There's the Devil's Own, The Regiment's History, written by D.M. Hatton, uh, printed in 1992. And last but not least, we have Needs Must, a blow-by-blow -blow account of all of the squadron diaries combined, written by AF Taggart in 1949, a very difficult book to get hold of. And lastly but not least, there at the top, we have the warwheels.net webpage regarding the British armoured cars in Europe, a very useful and handy source uh, covering the armoured car allotment tables which are stored in the National Archive and is based off of a journal entry for the Armoured Car Journal from 1996 and uh, yeah very useful link. Well I hope you enjoyed and cheerio!